welcome or welcome back in today's video i just thought that we could do a little self-care night you know do all the self-care things rituals because if you do not know i'm a freshman in high school and i've just had my first ever finals this week which almost everybody in high school is going through finals week right now which i'm so sorry currently wednesday at 7 50 p.m and it is a wednesday night you know i thought that you know we can rewind and do a bunch of self-care to prep for the rest of the week thank god i actually don't have school on friday which is amazing so i thought that we could just you know rewind and completely de-stress ourselves for the week to come and i have a lot to do today so let's just get right on into it so this is the current state of my room right now it's actually not even that bad but we are in need of a little bit of a cleanup so keep the montage <laughs> this face mask it's brightening clay mask and it's like cute and pink okay guys so i just put on this pajama set which is actually from amazon it's super duper cute it's like the matching set which you can't really see the short and then i have this cutie little headband from ulta so i'm first gonna actually put on some aquaphor because my lips are super duper dry from brushing my teeth also i thought that while i put on my face mask i'm going to answer some questions because i put a story up on my instagram Instagram for you guys to ask me some questions for you guys to get to know me better so I'm gonna do that right now so actually before I get into the more specific questions I'm actually going to answer just like some of the basic questions for you guys to get to know me so obviously as you can tell my name is Allie I'm 14 years old I live in California I am a dancer I love to dance I actually haven't been dancing for that long because like a lot of my friends have I've been dancing you know like their whole life and i've only been dancing for like four years three years but i love it so much and it's such a fun hobby of mine i am also on my high school's dance team and i love it so much and we have so much fun with basketball season and football season it's all so much fun i love it i also dance at a studio and i've been dancing there for about three years because that was when i started i actually used to be super duper creative i used to love to watercolor surprisingly but i haven't done it in a long time it was more of a covid hobby that i picked up but it was very fun while it lasted okay now let's get on to the questions that you guys asked so the first question is what is your favorite season and why i would say my favorite season is it's a tie between winter and summer because you know like in winter i love the weather and but i also love the weather in summer too Another fun fact about me is I don't love this fact, but I'm honestly terrified of the ocean. Like last summer, all my friends wanted me to go into the water and it's not that I don't like the ocean. It's that I don't like waves because, you know, like it gets in your eyes and it burned my nose and like it was just not an enjoyable experience for me. So I was like, okay, I just choose not to go in, but I love going to the beach to tan and I'll like dip in just a little bit to get my body wet because, you know, you like tan more when you you have salt water but i'm determined this summer i will face my fear and i will go in the water i'm making my friends like make me do it because you know if all my friends can do it then how hard can it really be honestly i feel like it'll be worth it in the end with having a little bit on so i would say probably summer or winter because they're such opposite seasons and i think that's why i love them so much is because they both
both just have so much like fun things that you can do in each season and so yeah okay this is another really good question actually is what is your starbucks order and my starbucks order is honestly very basic i feel like I feel like a lot of girls have it but it's really good and you should try it if you have not already but it is the strawberry acai refresher with light ice no added strawberries and peach juice it's kind of a long order but it's so good and i recommend it to everybody but yeah so i've also have gotten a couple questions about like what sport i've done and how long i've been doing it so i kind of already answered that because so i dance and like, i've been dancing for around like three years i did dance for like a couple months when i was like eight and i did like i was actually in a peter pan show when i was little so that was really fun and i did a bunch of different styles of dance too so it was really fun also don't mind my finger because it still has the clay on it so i've also have gotten some questions about where i like to shop and stay tuned for a style or like a fashion video like a style video of like different outfits to wear at certain occasions so stay tuned for that but i love to shop at i've been really getting into abercrombie my mom and i've been really into abercrombie recently and i just got a really cute couple of basics from there i got like this really cute pair of jeans this really cute basic top um i also love to shop at you know urban hillies a bunch of different random like boutiques i've realized and i need to go thrifting more i've also realized i want to go to the goodwill bins really bad and yeah i just feel like it'd be so much fun yeah so all those types of places i also love airy zara hollister american eagle airy princess polly white fox what are some places in that genre are all really good places to shop I, okay so the next question is how do you keep your life together i love this question because i love how some people think that i really do have my life together which that is like such a good compliment like thank you so much but i honestly not until recently like i feel like recently i've had my life together for the most part you know but obviously nobody's perfect and you know i obviously have my rough days a lot of the time and it's really hard sometimes to balance now youtube and filming and editing and it takes a lot of time and I feel like some people don't really understand how much work and time and effort it takes to you know make a video edit it post it post about it like all those things obviously I'm just starting but I've like almost like researched it about my whole life and i'm finally starting it and that's why i'm so happy and excited but yeah so i kind of it's just hard become committed to my dance team and i'm also on the comp team at my dance studio and and i have school i'm a freshman in high school as i already said and you know you also it's just kind of hard to find the time to balance out everything and also still have like a social life and still go out and have fun with your friends when you can and get all your homework done it's kind of a lot sometimes i'm not gonna lie and i'm not saying that i haven't like how my mental breakdowns but at the end of the day there's a reason why you're doing all the hobbies that you're doing and there's a reason why like for me all the things that i'm doing i have a reason to i love to do them well obviously maybe not school but you know it's something that you have to do and you have to get through i think it's just finding the right balance for you and also knowing that it's okay to take days like how i'm doing like take a self-care day take a self-care night do what you love to do take time for yourself because because at the end of the day, it's only going to be you and yourself. And if you don't take the time for yourself, then it's really hard to like give out to others. So that's just your reminder to take that self-care day. Even if it's a couple minutes out of your day, do a hobby or do something that you love to do. Because it is so important for your mental health. And again, that's another reason why I love to do my self-care nights. is because it's a time for me to just de-stress. You know, especially with finals. De-stress. Take a time. Reset. Think about all the things that I need to do, stay calm about it, plan it all out, and yeah, so... I think that's how I would have my life together is just finding a balance between you and it's kind of different for everybody everybody has their different sports their different interests their different hobbies that they want to prioritize and yeah it's all about that so I've been yapping a lot so I'll get back to you guys once it's ready to take this off it's skincare time so we're gonna add more aquaphor also guys i really recommend that mask i don't know where it was from to be honest kind of just have collected things over the years but it was really good and it also came with a lot too so you can use it multiple times so here's my skincare routine the first off i'm going to use the equal recipe toner i also realized that this whole skincare it's not much it's only a couple products but this whole skincare routine is all glow recipe so glow recipe if you're watching this sponsor me 
place. I'd love to work with you. So we're just going to put this on. Every I've gone through so much of this stuff. Like you actually have no idea. Don't even know what's in this, but it is magic. You have not tried this, which I feel like a lot of people have, honestly. But if you have not tried this, get it right now. Right now. Thank you. Next up is the Glow Recipe Niacinamide Dew Drops. These are literally liquid gold. Like, I'm not even kidding. Liquid gold. Again, I have had niacinamide in the past and my skin didn't respond the best to it. You know, kind of dried me out a little too much because I have very, very, very dry skin. So, I need a lot of hydrating products. And But this... Hydrating dew drops is amazing. I'm almost out of these. I need more. I just do one pump or like two pumps and I just do all over my face. I use this in the morning and at night. And this helps me from like prevents me from breaking out. Since I've done this skincare, my skin has been so good and I have very sensitive skin. And so Glow Recipe is amazing for sensitive skin. Okay, my last step is the Glow Recipe moisturizer. And I love this stuff. Also, God, take a second for the packaging. The packaging of Glow Recipes products is insane. Gorgeous, amazing, and it's a glass. And I also, for this product, I just do one pump because it's a little on the watery side. So I just, one pump is enough for my whole face. Don't forget the neck. Always bring your skincare down to your neck. Okay, now I've also had really, really, really dry lips in the past and I used to wake up and my lips used to be super dry right to the point where I couldn't even move them. So I figured out the perfect regimen for not having super duper dry lips, even waking up with them with the product still on my lips in the morning. I'll show you what my trick is. These two products are insane. Amazing. I feel like a lot of people also already have these so you should try this out if you have super duper duper dry lips at night because this will literally this saved my lips. Like I'm not even kidding you. So I do a light layer of Aquaphor because Aquaphor is just Aquaphor. It's amazing. Perfect in every way. So multi use. And then I use the Laneige lip sleeping mask. I've also gone through so many of these and I do a good amount out of this you look a little crazy because a lot of product on your lips but it helps so so much like i can't even explain to you and my last two steps is i do this every night i don't know why it kind of just like resets and i wake up looking and feeling better so that is i just use this random spoolie and i just brush my eyebrows there's nothing on it it's literally just a spoolie and i just over it like that and then i'm just gonna curl my lashes i feel like i have very naturally straight eyelashes and then when i I wake up then they'll already be a little bit curled so it'll curl even more in the morning when I curl them when I do my makeup and that is my skincare routine as I said earlier in today's video I have finals tomorrow and tomorrow I have we only have two periods this whole week and we get out at 12 45 which is really nice tomorrow I have Spanish and dance for Spanish I have a lot to study for so here's a little time lapse of me studying so here's a little study with me final step of my night skincare self-care routine is journaling now i love journaling so much and i used to do it all the time and it's kind of one of those habits that like you know you pick up at the very beginning of the year you know it's because it's new year new me i don't know those things were like okay you do it maybe for like a couple months not even and then you just stop but this year i'm actually pushing myself to try to journal every other day or just keep on doing it consistently yeah so I'll show you guys kind of what I do. The first journal that I'll be doing is my five minute journal. I've actually had this for a really long time, um, but I'm getting back into it. That's why it says 2021 and 2022. I've had it for a really long time. It basically just is really short affirmations. Not affirmations, but like, well, there are affirmations, but it's in the morning. You say three things that you're grateful for, three things that would make today great, and a daily affirmation. And I don't know where the book is, but I used to have this affirmations, like a book that just had a bunch of different affirmations in it and I used to take one of the affirmations I'll put a picture on the screen of what the book looked like um it's really good it's from Amazon you should go check it out go get it I'll put the link in the description I'll also put the link in the description for the five minute journal if you want to get it because I really recommend doing it and it's really it's really helped me keep a good outlook and have a good start to my day because you know you're starting off with things that you're grateful for and things that make you happy so I really recommend journaling doing the five minute journal as I said it's literally a five minute journal like it takes five minutes it's not 
not even. Um, and then at night, it says three highlights of the day and what did I learn today. So I'm going to fill out the night section of this page and I'll show you guys the rest of it. Okay, so I just finished this journal. So now I'm going to write in my manifestation journal. So a little quick summary to this journal. I will actually put Fernando Ramirez's video on how to manifest in my description if you want to watch it. Her video is so good. She goes so in depth on what manifesting is all about. And I really recommend watching that video to learn more about how to manifest and all the different things that come with it. But this is my manifestation journal. I got it from Target. Kind of a bunch of dumps, but you write as if you had this goal as if it was in the present and let's just pretend that like you really 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 want a good grade on a test you write as if like this might sound cheesy but you write as if like i woke up this morning and i saw that the grade on my test was an a plus and i did so good i'm so worthy i'm so smart i'm so and you kind of have like little affirmations about it so i'm going to write some things or you can also have i say that whatever i write in this pen in this book will come true that is what i have in the very beginning of my book um or whatever I, or you can say like whatever i write in this book will come true you have to really believe it and i'm not gonna lie since i've been manifesting a lot of things in my life have come true and it's crazy how it works i believe in it and it's really helpful in my opinion and yes yeah, so i really recommend you maybe get a manifestation journal if you want to Just finished writing in my journal i feel so like at peace now i don't know but i'm gonna end the video here but thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed be sure to like go comment down below subscribe to my channel if you have not already i didn't do a new thing where every time after every video i'm gonna comment an emoji if you stay till the end but comment the spa emoji because you know it was a little self-care night but yeah thank you so much for watching i love you all so much bye